Up to this point in my scratch building career, I've exclusively used foam board from the Dollar Tree for the construction of my airplanes. Most of the building techniques come from Ed over at Experimental Airlines. He has a great channel and I suggest you check it out. He developed the Armin Wing, a simple way to make a flat bottom airfoil out of a sheet of foam. And this is pretty great. But I've been seeing a lot of neat videos on YouTube where people take pieces of insulation foam and cut it with a hot wire and make some really intricate looking airfoils. The benefit of this is that you can actually easily create any airfoil you want. You can look up the best airfoils for your application and then go to airfoiltools.com and take a look at it. You can see its performance within your Reynolds numbers and you can even see how much lift it will generate at specific speeds and angles of attack along with its lift to drag ratio and then just print it to the size that you want and make a template for it. All it takes is a current going through a thin wire to generate enough heat to cut through some foam. In my case, I use a nickel chromium wire I found on Amazon for like $5, but I've heard that you can use like the, the small E string of a guitar, for example. Pretty much anything that's long and thin without insulation will have enough resistance to resist the current and turn that into heat. A lot of people use a power supply of some sort, but I actually used three three cell batteries in series, producing about 36 volts or so. This wooden bow was made out of a piece of scrap wood from the Home Depot, but I've seen people use PVC pipe or other contraptions too. By cutting out an airfoil shape and then mounting it on the side of your block of foam, if you have an airfoil, you can use one airfoil to another airfoil in this case, and what will happen is the wire will ride along the edge of the wood because it can't cut through the wood and it will leave exactly what is in between the two templates that you cut out. The same day that I got my hot wire machine working, I decided to try and make a wing. And as you can see, this is my attempt. By using the same template for the sections of wing that go together, everything fits together perfectly. And this ended up being a super fun plane to fly. It stalls kind of weird, but it just carries so much momentum. And this clip here is all in a glide. I never touched my motor in this clip. And it just carries so much momentum. It's super aerodynamic. For my second and latest project using the hot wire foam cutter method, I built an 8 foot wing to try and get this old chainsaw engine to fly. Be sure to subscribe so that you can see when I come out with a video about this next week. Thanks for watching.